Hi there and welcome back to some sewing loveliness. It's so good to be back in the sewing room. In anticipation of sewing the boudoir shorts, I just wanted to get ready for the actual sewing because there are a few bits that you might want to get ready ahead of time. You would need one and a quarter meters of soft cotton woven fabric or viscose, one and a half centimeter wide elastic enough to fit your waist, um, bias binding or other trim for going around the edges of the shorts. Uh, we can also make our own bias binding out of the fabric to match and also you'll need some thread of the right sort of colour to go with your fabric. you also need scissors for paper and for fabric, sellotape for putting the paper pieces together, the printed pattern, a ruler or measuring tape and some pins and of course your sewing machine. Now it is important to wash your fabric before you're going to cut it out. Um, this is because fabric can shrink and you don't want your newly sewn shorts to shrink after their first wash. So it's a good idea to give it a quick wash and then of course you'll need to iron it to make it nice and flat for cutting out. So that's why I thought it's quite an important step to do before you get to your sewing group. The next thing you need to do is go to the website and download the PDF of the pattern and print it out onto just plain white printing paper in your printer. Once you've got those pages printed out, it's a good idea to ch check that your printer has printed it to the right size. So that test square in the middle is um, supposed to be two inches by two inches, so just double check that. Um, this page here is the important page, it's page 4, um, it shows you the actual layout of those pieces that you print out, so you start at the top with 1A, B, C, D and E, and then the next row down is 2A, B, C, D and E, and um, so you, what you need to do is lay them out onto a table or floor space, and then once you've got them all in order, then you need to start sellotaping them together. What you need to do is cut down the dotted red lines along two sides of the pieces, each piece of paper and then match them up and sellotape them together. I'm just showing you here how I match mine up and then once you've done that you should have a really long piece of paper with all the pieces together. The next thing that you need to do is decide which size you would like to cut and make. Um, so they've got from extra small to extra large. Now I've decided to make mine medium, so it's a good idea to draw yourself a line following that patterned line to make sure that you don't end up making a mistake in cutting all of them the wrong size. So what I've done is taken a felt tip pen and gone around marking every every double dotted line that I saw there which was the size medium. This um, really does ensure you won't make a mistake when cutting your paper pattern out. The next step is to go ahead and cut along those lines that you've just marked with your marker pen. Also with your pen mark the dots and little triangles that you see along the way just so that you can use them later on when you're doing your marking. They're useful for matching up pieces to make sure that you're sewing the right pieces together and also the little dot is to match the front seams. Next you require three long strips of one and a half inches wide so cut um, from the edge of the paper that you probably have some left over, I would cut three strips from that piece of paper. This will be used for the binding across the edge of your shorts. Now you should have three pieces of shorts pattern plus three strips of paper and your fabric should be nicely ironed, not like mine. Um, <laughs> make sure you have all your other ingredients and you'll be ready to start sewing 